Hello and welcome to the FL Studio video tutorial on using effects. FL Studio supports a wide range of effects. And in this tutorial, you'll learn how to use them to help mix your music. Let's get started. Before you hear any of the instruments in your song, the audio output must be processed by the FL Studio mixer. Each FL Studio instrument output is directed to one of the mixer channels where the sound is processed through a set of mastering filters and may be processed optionally with additional external filters and special effects. Each mixer track can have up to eight external effects loaded into an external effect bank. FL Studio supports VST, VST2, DirectX and DirectX2, as well as Buzz plugins, as well as its own proprietary internal effect format. In order to be accessible within FL Studio, the different kinds of external effects must be properly installed. DirectX effects are registered with your system upon installation, and FL Studio will automatically detect them. VST plugins, however, must be installed to the VST plugins folder, which you can find in the installation folder of FL Studio. In the default setup of the mixer, all tracks are processed in parallel and sent to the master mixer track before the final sound is formed. However, with the four additional send defect tracks, you have the ability to route the audio output of any given mixer track to any other track, giving you the freedom to create complex mixing chains. To open up a new effect in an effect bank, select a free slot and click its pop-up menu. In the select sub-menu, you can select a plugin to insert or click more to see a list of all available effects on your system. Here we are going to select Fruity Delay. If you wish to use a preset from the effect you have chosen, you can select it from the effects sub-menu. You can also see, while we're here, the last tweak parameter, and you can also browse the parameters for your effect. Once you have inserted the effect, you'll see the plugin's editor window where you can make adjustments to the settings of your plugin. You can click the effects label to show or hide the effects window. While working on your project, you may want to bypass some of the effects while working on the mix. For this, you can use the mute switch to disable an effect temporarily. You can also fine tune the mix levels, the amount of wet or dry signal for each effect, with the effects level knob. Turn the wheel to the maximum left to effectively mute the effect. Turn it at maximum to the right, we'll use the effect on 100% of the signal. Well, that's about it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and now have a good feel when using effects in FL Studio. Of course, there isn't time in a short video to cover all the possible options. FL Studio comes with excellent online documentation, which you can use alongside this tutorial to answer more detailed questions as your knowledge of the program increases. Thanks for your attention and have fun with FL Studio.